Well, tickets will be available tomorrow for a memorial to Kobe Bryant. It will take place Saturday between two games at Lower Marion High School. Meantime, we're hearing from a former Lower Marion teammate of Bryant's who is remembering fondly the time they spent together. He spoke with our Natasha Brown. Natasha. Well, you know, so many people who knew Kobe Bryant well are sharing their stories about not only the legendary basketball player that he became, but also the early friendships that he established with them. We talked to one former high school teammate today who tells us knowing Kobe changed his life. I was on the team his senior year, the year we won the state championship. Kobe Bryant's former Lower Marion High School basketball teammate remembers that moment like it was yesterday. He also remembers the moment he heard the devastating news that his friend was gone. You just didn't believe it. And then when the news broke, you're just heartbroken and shocked. Emery Dabney sat down with us in our CBS3 studios to talk about a loss that's still soul crushing to him. He remembers when he first met Kobe, a meeting that led to a lasting friendship. I was playing basketball and it was a decision of where to go to school and I met Kobe on the playground and I decided to go to Lower Marion and from that point on we were, we were really close. He treated me like an older brother. As a teenager, Emery recalls Kobe having a work ethic like none other, exhibiting the Mamba mentality he became known for around the world. He was tough. He was he had a lot. It was loving, but it was tough love. He wanted to get the best out of you. Um, his mentality was you're only as strong as your weakest link. From a fierce player. <laughs> that was like a hoop it up tournament. He put on a show. He definitely put on a show. He was young too, so it was, it was amazing to see. To a loyal friend, Kobe brought out the best in those around him. As a friend, he was funny. It was always great to be around. He was just a great guy. He was warm. He always made you feel like you're the only person there. Even in death, Kobe's lasting legacy is bringing a renewed sense of life to those who knew him well. Aside from it being incredibly sad, you want to leave a legacy and you want the people that are around you, the loved ones that have helped you get to where you are, you want to make them proud. And that's when Kobe passes, that's what you think about. Well, you know, Emery also told us about a memory that always stuck with him. The day after Kobe declared that he was going to the NBA, he still came to class the next day like it was just any other day. So they were like, Guy, what are you doing here? I mean, you're about to go to the NBA. And, and he's like, the lottery, right? Absolutely. Isn't that stuff? Thank you for sharing that. Emery, thank you. Indeed.